हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द क्लास टूडे विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइफ साइकिल मैनेजमेंट एज वी ऑल नो दैट द डेटा इज बीन स्टोर्ड एंड इट इज मेंटेन्ड इन द डेटा सेंटर्स इट कैन बी इन द ट्रेडिशनल और इट कैन बी इन द वर्चुअलाइज एनवेरमेंट्स वी हैव टू मैनेज दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन वेरी इफेक्टिवली एज वी नो दैट इन द टू डेज जनरेशन द डेटा इज इंक्रीजिंग एक्सपोनशियली each and every day we are been creating a huge data and that data has to be maintained now when we have been having this data the data centers are facing mainly three challenges the first one is exploding the digital universe the second one is increasing dependency on the information and the third one is changing the value of information the first uh, exploding digital universe as uh, i have already said that the information is increasing a day by day that is exponentially we have to make sure that the data is been available and at that same time it is been given and it is been stored the second one is as this data is been created each and every day the organizations have to store this data and they have to build the strategies so that they can expand their organizations or they can expand their business and the third one is changing the value of the information uh, in very simple terms if i have to say this one is the data that is created today may be important for tomorrow or may not be important for us now how this information is been changing over the period of time so if it is important how i uh, have to how do we have to store it if it is not important then how are you trying to manage that information and please remember any information or any data that is been created we can't say that it is of no use in future somewhere else one or the another point the data is important uh, so for that purpose you might have seen that in the medical records all the data of each and every patient is been maintained since many years so because of that itself they are able to come up with the good drugs in the world the next one is he has taken up a example of the sales order where you can see here this is the time along the x axis and the value of the information along the y axis now each and every stage the data where first it is initially created you are accessing that data you migrate it you are trying to achieve and lastly with the time it is getting disposed now the creation is when you place a new order you right you are creating the data you are going to process that order you deliver and you are claiming the warranty so until this the data with the time it is reducing its value but as if you see the warranty where usually the warranty is given for 1 to 5 years as the warranty is been vanished that is expired then what happens that data is no more required for us so that warranty can be voided and it can be disposed so if we have to uh, conclude this one is as the data today it is been created so each and everything need not to be maintained for a longer period of the time we can only maintain the information that is been needed by the organizations and remaining everything can be archived and it can be disposed moving on to the next one is information life cycle management that means what is the life span or what is the life cycle what are the various stages it goes through that one so that the information is been created and it is been finally destroyed so what are those stages and also we are going to study that how it is going to address the challenges so here it is uh, looking into the requirements uh, and how it has to be processed and this all information life cycle management it is been automated right so that there is no need for the organizations to look into each and every aspect for example if i have to say is uh, as you people know that um, uh, the a uh, telecom companies are coming up with uh, um, a minimum recharge of 49 rupees every month but if you see the previous uh, datas and all where the people never used to recharge for more than a year 
they used to just take the sim keep it active and however the incoming was free because of which the companies were going in loss though having more number of the customers but they were the company was in the loss so what they have come with the new plan is they don't want to lose the customers so they have come with the they have to recharge every month 49 so that the organization is in the profit and the numbers also remain active so this is the information and they have been keeping that one uh, live now having this all information so what are the benefits it is going to provide the first one is lower the total cost of the ownership that means the data i am having it i need to store it very efficiently and do not spend more on the infrastructure the second one is simplified management where i am trying to process it i am using the interfaces i am using the tools so that it can be managed in a very simplest way and the next one is maintaining compliance in this compliance i need to make sure that the data whatever is been there it is been protected once the data i am not using it i cannot dispose it right i cannot just give it to anyone i have to make sure it is still being protected and the next the last one is optimized utilization where you are storing the data in terms of the tiring moving on to the storage tiring so what does this storage tiring means i am trying to store the data in the different types or i can say that i will store the data using the different devices based on the need of the data for example is that we already know that there are various storage devices where we have ssd cards we are having the sata cables and all now whenever i want to access the information i cannot take it every time from the secondary storage because it is going to consume lot of time so for that purpose we are using the cache now the same way even in the data centers whenever the data is being stored i cannot try to fetch it every every time from the storage array so the data being stored in the storage array has to be fetched at a faster rate so for that purpose we are using these solid state drives to increase that performance now the same way when the data is not been used for a longer period of the time we can store it we can protect it and at that same time we need to make sure that what is the cost behind those resources uh, when we are having this storage there are two types of the storage the one is a manual storage where the administrator is uh, taking care of that one but the problem with this one is more complex and it is time consuming and the second one is automated process where you are maintaining the data which is active it is been coming in front which is been used by the people and whichever is not been used it is been moved to the uh, the secondary storage automatically right so in this one it is uh, having the two types one is the intra array and the second one is inter array as you people know that the data has to be moved automatically so the uh, the person is not sitting and not having a look at which data is inactive which data is active so for that purpose the programmers are writing the program or they are uh, automating the system in such a way that whichever is the active data is been kept in the cache in front right in the primary storage and whichever is not been used then it is been pushed back to the secondary storage so, simple here in the first one is the lun tiring where you can see that we have the logical unit in the tire zero and in this one the whole content that means the whole content from this logical unit is moved to the tire one right in this one when it is moving it is moving even both the active data also and the inactive data so because of which whole content is moved then it is inefficient so for that purpose they have gone for the second uh, method that is sub lun tiring in this sub lun tiring you can see that we have the logical unit in which the data which is active data sorry inactive data it is moved to the tier 1 right that is the secondary storage 
and the data that is been requested that is the active data is moved back to the tire 0 so in this way we are not completely copying or we are not completely moving the data from the logical units but within the logical units we are segregating the data which is active and which is inactive so the active data is being pushed and the inactive data is pushed back to the secondary storage the third one is the cache in the cache tiring as you people know that there is a primary memory right and then we have the secondary memory whenever the data is being requested from the cpu it comes it is being fetched from the primary memory which is also called as cache and the cache in turn is fetching the data from secondary memory to make the access very fast or i can say to the increase the performance we are placing the cache which is also called as the dynamic rams the same way even in the ssd the solid state drives we are placing the cache so that the performance is again increasing so this is within the intra array storage itself right so these are all the methods being applied for the intra array storage the second one is inter inter array storage where you can see in this figure that we are having the two tires the tire one is the primary storage and the second one is the tire two is the secondary storage and you can see that is uh, here the policy engine which is trying to move the data from the tire one to tire two we have been programmed this one so that whenever it is an inactive data for more than six months or uh, one year then the data has to be moved from the primary storage to the secondary storage now if in case uh, the application server has to get the data which is not used for more than one year then the application server is not looking into the secondary storage but it is looking into the primary storage where we are maintaining the file or i can say that we are maintaining the pointer right which is pointing the data in the secondary storage through this one again the data can be accessed even if the data remains inactive for a longer period of the time so completely data is not been vanished it is been there but the pointer is pointing to that and that information is maintained in the primary storage so this way the datas are being maintained whenever the data is inactive it is being pushed back so for this examples if i have to say you is the bank transactions if you see that many people open their account they don't perform any transactions in such time the bank people uh, having a more number of the customers but they are their uh, accounts are inactive so what they do is they are uh, they have uh, they take one of the software that is here the policy engine they have been created they see that each and every account how many months it has been used if it is not been used for more than one year then they deactivate it and no transactions have been carried out at that same time their cards will be blocked their account will be blocked and the customer has to go back to the bank and he has to activate again all those uh, credentials so this way they are been storing the data and they don't want to lose any customers please remember here they are not losing any customers but they are trying to store the information very efficiently so that it can be managed and it can be used for the future purpose thank you